Okay, today we are going to talk about uh, genomics and transcriptomics from BGI. Again, I'm TC. Okay, the outline that we'll be covering today is introductions to BGI, genomics, transcriptomics, and also introductions to Dr. Tom's. First, we'll start today's webinar with introductions to BGI. BGI was founded by Jian Wang in the year 1999, and in the year 2002, they actually contribute 1% in the uh, human genome projects. And in the year 2050, the MB6500 was launched, and I will going to focus on this one in the later slide. And BGI actually including BGI Research, BGI College, Science, BGI, BGI Agro, FGI, and so on. And today we are going to focus on BGI. That is a commercial center that gives sequencing solutions. And BGI was formerly known as Beijing Genome Institute. So now they already renamed it as BGI. So we will call BGI as BGI. Okay, so here is some certificate and also ISO center and also FDA approved that obtained by BGI. The certificates and also ISO standard covered from sample collections, DNA extractions, library construction, sequencing, and also bioinformatic analysis. And I would like to share you some publications track record that BGI have done. Um, this is the record since 1999. So by December 2018, the total publications of BGI is more than 2,500 journal papers. And this is a milestone of BGI. Until April 2018, actually BGI already done more than 3,000 rice genome projects. Okay, so we are going to talk about the research sequencing solutions today. BGI actually do genomics, transcriptomics, epigenomics, and also proteomics. And today we are going to talk about genomics and also transcriptomics. The genomic part, including whole genome sequencing, exome sequencing, target region sequencing, metagenomic sequencing. For the transcriptomic part, it is actually covered RNA quantification set, transcriptome sequencing, small RNA sequencing, and also long non-coding RNA sequencing. Okay, in the year 2013, BGI actually acquired a sequencer company uh, from US, which is called Complete Genomics. So they have successfully launched the MB6500 in the year 2015 which is also known as BGI-6500. So this is the first sequencer that BGI no need to rely on other brands' reagents anymore. BGI use own sequencer, own reagent to do the sequencing. And the maximum output per day is 520 gigabase. Until year 2018, BGI actually successfully launched own sequencer MGI-T7 which can reach maximum output one to six terabyte per day. So this is an important milestone that achieved by BGI, which they use their own, very, very own sequencer with own reagent. Okay, here is some uh, demo data that published using this emb platform. Until now, it is more than 250 journal paper was published. And this is all the links using this DMB SIG platform. So next one, I will be move on to DMB SIG sequencing principle. So how this sequencing sequencer works? First step, uh, it, they will make the DNA nanoball to increase the copy number of DNA. After that, they will be loading the DMB uh, to the slide to pattern the array. After that, they will use the CPAT synthesis method to do the synthesis. Uh, this method actually is matching the prop binds to the genomic DNA. So this sequencing principle actually help in increase the accuracy, decrease the duplicates, and also reduce the index hopping. 
So basically, this is how the sequencer works. And when I first uh, come into this sequencer, there's a lot of customer uh, asking us, uh, is this sequencer can be compete or uh, compare? How is the performance if compared with Illumina platform? So here is some journal paper that do the comparison between VJ6500 and also Illumina High 4000. So the result shown, BGI 6500 actually is, can be competitive and also reliable platform in plant transcriptome analysis. And the source is from NCBI. So next one, I would like to share when customer using this BGI 6500 versus Illumina High 2005. So the conclusions of this paper shown that the BGI 6500 hold the potentials to represent a valid and potentially valuable alternative platform. That means uh, BGI 6500 can provide equivalent, at least equivalent result uh, compared with Illumina High uh, platform. And the cost, because BGI no need to rely on Illumina sequencer and also reagents, so the cost actually they bring down the sequencing costs a lot. Okay, after the technology part, uh, let's move to the genomics part. BGI actually provide a wide range of genomic sequencing solutions uh, to actually meet your research need. The service included in the genomics part is whole human genome resequencing, whole exome sequencing, target regions, plant animals microbe resequencing or de novo sequencing, and for the micro, they have 16S, 18S, ITS, or metagenomics. And besides that, they also have whole genome by sulfate sequencing. Okay, so let's start with the most popular one, uh, which is human whole genome resequencing. Okay, this whole genome sequencing, WGS, actually it can apply on cancer research, genetic disorder cause detections, pharmacogenomic study, population genetic evolution analysis, and also complex disease research. So the application actually is very, very wide and I believe can fulfill most of your needs. Okay, here we're going to do a small comparison between whole genome resequencing, whole exome sequencing, and this is the genotyping array. I believe there's a lot of people using uh, the genotyping array. However, the genotyping array already considered a bit uh, outdated at this moment. So uh, we will focus on the whole genome resequencing and also whole exome sequencing today. So actually both of them, the principle is the same. They are using high throughput sequencing methods, but they are different in the detections area. For the resequencing, the detection area is whole genome wide. But for the exon sequencing, the detection area is only the exon and also UDR region. And the mutation type, both of them can detect SNP, INDEL, and CMV, but only whole genome resequencing can detect the SV. And the mutation frequency can be detected is also common and rare. Mm, both common and rare. So today, if you ask me, oh, TC, uh, should I go for the whole genome resequencing or whole exon sequencing? I will answer you whole genome resequencing because it study the whole genome wide, you can get whatever mutations and whatever information. And the price, because of BGI 6500, the price is very, very competitive. And I believe only 10% higher price compared to whole exome sequencing. But the result you obtain is more comprehensive. So I will personally suggest you go for whole genome resequencing at this moment. Okay, so let's move on to the whole genome sequencing WGS workflow. Of course, when you want to proceed with whole genome sequencing, the first step, you will need to get the sample preparation. So you will need to uh, think uh, the, you, where is your interested part that you want to study. Maybe it's a human tissues, maybe it's the cell lines or etc. Et so first you will need to do the extractions. Okay, the extractions uh, can be from saliva, from blood, and so on. And you will give us the gDNA. After that, we will do the QC. And after the QC pass, we will do the library constructions for you. 
Vijay will do the from library constructions. So library constructions, which normally we will either go for PCI free or PCI library. And the sequencing strategy, that's pan 100 and also pan 150. After that, we will proceed with sequencing using our DMB set platform, which is BGI 500. And after we obtain the raw data output, we will do the bioinformatics. And due now, BGI Online already finished more than 20,000 WGS analysis. And our bioinformatics covered the standard and also advanced. Of course, when you need some custom-made bioinformatics, we can also do it for you. Okay, here is the WGS bioinformatics analysis pipeline. Basically, the standard one, we are going to talk about standard one only today. The standard one, including filtering, alignment, and SNP, indel, CNV, SV, calling, and annotations. So basically, this is all the pipeline and all the flow. Okay, okay, so let's move on to the, okay, we finished the human part. Let's move on to the plant and animal de novo. De novo is, uh, is a genome that haven't been published anywhere. It is really a brand new genome, so we call it de novo. Okay, if you want to go for de novo genome assembly, actually it's like uh, replaying the Zizor buzzer. The sequence is very messy and we really assembly it, become a nice picture. So, so far, BGI already done assembly more than 250 species in the world and published more than 200 articles on top tier journals for the genome. Okay, so the first step of doing the normal sequencing, uh, we need to determine the genome is a common genome or is a, a complex genome. Let's say, today you say, okay, I want to study on the batting fish. So first step, we will need to determine if the genome is a complex one or only a common genome. So we will do it, we will starting with a genome survey. So with this genome survey, we can determine the genome conditions like genome size, heterozygote rate, and also repetitive sequence proportions and GC content. So after all this, we will actually can uh, say that this is a complex genome or common genome. After that, we will give you the strategy. We will either suggest you Illumina or BGI uh, DMB set, and then we will use the small insert library constructions, and then we will follow by the sequencing part, and we will do the preliminary assembly and also survey analysis. So this is what we start with the uh, de novo sequencing. So after we have done this survey, then we will suggest to you, see whether it is using our DMB sequencing system combined with either BioNano or PetBio or 10 times genomic based on your uh, genome conditions. I very hard to give you a conclusion right now or any uh, solid strategy. We will need to do the uh, survey first. So uh, beside the de novo, of course, we have some resequencing. Like let's say today you want to study on the uh, rice genome. It, it already published in the NCBI library. So we can proceed with the resequencing. Same thing go with the animals like mouse, like rat. They already uh, published genome in the NCBI library. So we will proceed, we will suggest you to proceed with resequencing. And this uh, plant and animal DNA resequencing applications, it can actually help you in molecular breeding, like digital breeding, functional gene mining, biomarker development. Or it can also help you in populations analysis, like evolutions, domestications, origin tracking, translocations of animal, and also the physiological mechanism, like the drug resistant analysis, individual development analysis, reproduction analysis, and also pathogenesis analysis. So this is what a resequencing can help. Okay, so finish the genomic part. Let's move on to the transcriptomic part. Transcriptomic is obviously also known as the RNA sequencing. It is actually used to review the presence, quality, and structures of RNA in a biological samples under the specific conditions. Okay, the first thing, of course, you will need to have your bio. Uh, your bio, biology questions. After that, then you will need to determine your sample. 
whether you want to study a, a plant or animal or human, then which part you are interested, let's say you want to study the tissue parts or anything, it does not require an existing genome sequence. That means you can do it de novo -ly. Okay, uh, even the species is do not have any uh, genome sequence, you can proceed with transcriptome. Or if already have the genome sequence, you can proceed with transcriptome resequencing as well. And it can detect the mutations, sprite variants, fusion gene that cannot be detected by microarray. So RNA seq really a very demand uh, sequencing method right now. And for uh, DMP seq RNA sequencing, actually it covers from RNA quantifications, transcriptome, small RNA, and also long non-coding RNA. But today we are going to talk about the transcriptome. So what transcriptome can help actually? It can help you in gene expressions, alternative splicing, gene fusions, and also novel transcript. Okay, so here is the workflow of the transcriptome. First, of course, you need to do the sample preparations. That means you need to prepare the total RNA sample. You can extract the RNA from human uh, tissues, from plant, or from animals. It's up on your research. So after that, we will do the sample QC for you to determine the amount, concentration, and also the purity of the samples. Once it's past our QC, then we will do the transcriptome library preparations. So based on uh, different different species, we will use uh, different protocol to, pro to do the library. After that, we will QC again, and then only we will proceed with sequencing, and the options of the pair N will be 100 or pair N 150. After that, we will do the QC again, and we will finally obtain the raw data output. And after that, we will do QC again, and then only we will proceed with the bioinformatic analysis. Okay, so basically, you will need to, if you want to do a transcriptome project with us, basically, you will need only set, prepare the sample preparations. That means you only need to prepare the total RNA, and then we will do the rest for you. Then you will get the demo, uh, you will get the report, and also you will get the whole clean data in the FASTA format. Okay, so after the workflow, let's move on to the bioinformatic pipelines. So this is the bioinformatic pipelines of a transcriptome de novo analysis. Again, de novo is for those new genome, very, very new and haven't be, been published anywhere. So here is the method and also software. Uh, using for de novo analysis and most of the software mentions here is open software and free. You can uh, access, access it for free. And we also doing the analysis, resequencing analysis using this method and also software. Again, the software actually is a free and open software. So for uh, de novo bioinformatic uh, compared with the resequencing bioinformatic, I will say the only difference is the de novo, the first step, they will do the assembly because it is new. So they do the assembly first. So for the resequencing, the first step, they will do the mapping. They will map the data back to the genome that it provides to us. Let's say you are doing on a human cell line transcriptome. So the first step, after we all get the data, we will do the mapping back to the human genome. So I think this is the main difference of both of them. But actually, the cost of the sequencing is, is totally uh, the same. So uh, it's up to you whether you want to use which uh, pipeline. Okay, after the genomic and also transcriptomic, let's move on to Dr. Tom. There is a very new thing today I'm going to talk about. What is Dr. Tom? Dr. Tom is a, um, I can say, is a solution that we will going to deliver you the transcriptome data. So this Dr. Tom can help you simple with click and dig into your data. It is actually to help you to have the data visualization and also exploring tools to bring you to AI research life. Okay, imagine. When you have your uh, biology questions, you have your data because you already done the transcriptome part with us. So we give you everything, the report and the data. 
but you do not have any biofamily background. So you will feel like um, you don't know whether how to start if you want to check your data or you want to dig more on your data. So this Dr. Tom will help you. Okay, so Dr. Tom actually is a web-based solution. It is web-based solutions. So you do not need to download any software and do not require a high-spec computer to do this. And it will actually help you in convenient analysis, mining and interpretations of sequencing data. It can help you in terms of the expressions analysis, gene set enrichment analysis, association analysis, uh, referencing ontological information across multiple database and also data mining. So I explain more in the next slide. So that means when you done the transcriptome project with us, we will give you the data in this Dr. Tom. Uh, that means we will give you a link and the username and also password. You can log in and then you will get everything, your data in this Dr. Tom. Okay, Dr. Tom can help you in the expressions analysis. So, uh, as you can see, this is a heat map. This heat map is uh, actually we do it and we draw it based on your analysis plan. So, after you obtain your data and you feel that, oh, sorry, you feel that you want to study more on this high expressions gene, you think this this region is very interesting. So in Dr. Tom, you can directly highlight this one and redraw your, redraw your own heat map. And after you give the instructions to Dr. Tom within one minute, the heat map will be ready. That means you no need to specifically download a new software to draw your own heat map. And if you like, let's say you want to do gene set enrichment analysis because Dr. Tom can help you access free or licensed KEGG database. That means you can do your own pathway and associate analysis. Like if you want to study on this red color one, Dr. Tom can specifically just simply highlight it and you can redraw a specific path. And also uh, the most interesting one, I think is a multiple database. Dr. Tom actually can link you to this TCGA and CBI and many more databases with free. Let's say the the transcription project is on human, so you can access uh, this human uh, genome information and also reference and all the related articles using this Dr. Tom. And you can also uh, do your custom uh, data set. That means you can upload your own uh, transcriptome data. Is Maybe it's not using VGI service, maybe you done it uh, previously. So you can upload it to this Dr. Tom or your own uh, QPCR result upload to this Dr. Tom. So you can do the comparison, draw your own heat map, draw your own web plot. So it's all based on just click only. So when you click, then within one minute, you have your new heat map. So actually this is a very good uh, system that can help people with uh, zero bioinformatic knowledge you can actually uh, become, uh, you can check your data and redraw your own map that you wish to. And if you want to know more on this Dr. Tom, you can actually visit this website for the previous webinar that done by BGI. This webinar talked specifically on Dr. Tom. So I believe Dr. Tom is a very uh, good web solution that can help customer. And for the associations, uh, one thing I would like to highlight here is if you study on the transcriptome part and you want to associate it with your small RNA data, and Dr. Tom can also help you. So uh, in conclusion, Dr. Tom is a really, really powerful and high demand uh, system. Okay, so I already finished my slide today. And I will to value you uh, joining us today. I would like to announce these promotions for first time user. If you have the uh, transcriptome project, we will give you a very very special price. With only one thousand five hundred, we can do everything for you. Uh, with six gigabyte uh, gigabyte of data output per sample, regardless of the you know, or reference gene, we will do from QC library uh, preparations, sequencing, and inclusive of bioinformatics. 
And one is the key point today, and you can have free access to Dr. Tom for three months. That means after you receive the data, you can actually use Dr. Tom to draw your own heat map to do your own associations analysis. And that is really a wow and unbelievable deal today. So feel free to email us at nanogen, uh, sorry, NGS at nanogensolutions.com or WhatsApp us at 013-939-8034 if you feel this promotion is very interesting and you would like to grab it today. Okay, so thank you. And now we are open for the Q&A sections. Okay, so I will check on the chat right now. Huh? Okay, I saw a question. Okay, PE100 from Jojo. Huh? PE100 is pair and maximum 100 base pair. Actually, pair and 100 means uh, 100 from the left and 100 from the right. So you will get 200 actually. Uh, if pen 150 will be 150 from the left and 150 uh, from the right, so you will actually maximum uh, get uh, 300 base pair covered. Uh, okay, Jojo cannot hear anymore. Uh, Jojo, can you hear me? Now I already answered the questions. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so any more questions from the floor? How much is genomic uh, DNA per sample? Okay, so first uh, we would like to know about a you are you are interesting interested to study on human or plant. We will need to know your species, and we will need to determine if it's a uh, genome sequencing or um, um, resequencing. So please kindly leave your WhatsApp number or email address so that we can personally PM you to know all the details before I can give you a price. Okay, so any more questions? You can kindly drop us an email. Okay, let's stay in this promotion slide so that everyone can catch this promotion because this is really a good deal that we want to value you to join us today. Okay, so any more questions from the floor? Okay, is the okay? Uh, is the price same of both human and small animal sample? It actually, uh, dear Chiao, it is actually different because for the uh, genomes project, we will need to determine the price based on the genome size. So obviously, maybe small animal, the genome size is smaller uh, compared with human, so the price will be different. So maybe you can drop us an email or WhatsApp number so we can actually uh, explain you uh, personally in more details. Okay, Hasana is asking, sequencing here in Malaysia or send the sample out. Okay, we will send our sample to BGI Hong Kong. Most of the sequencer of BGI is, is in Hong Kong. Mm -mm. Okay, Jojo, minimum ring number for transcriptome. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the minimum ring number of plant is 6.5 and for human and other species will be 7, the minimum ring number. So if you're facing the difficulties to achieve good ring number, you can PM us also. We can uh, actually advise you the solutions to get a good ring number before you proceed with transcriptome. Okay, sure. Uh, dear, okay, Dr. Chan Yin Yin. Okay, sure. Ken, you can contact us to ask more on this uh, specifically for your project. Because for the sequencing line, it is very custom made. Uh, everyone has different thought, 
uh, different uh, project. And before you want to start a sequencing project, I believe uh, the first thing you need to have a biology questions, uh, what you would like to study, and you would like to determine uh, where the sample that you want to obtain in your uh, specific uh, interested uh, species. Okay, I guess there is no more questions from the floor. If you have any, you can always feel free to email us at Nanogene Solutions and also WhatsApp us. And beside that, you can also drop us an email or WhatsApp to uh, require the slide today and also the e-certificate. And the video of today's webinar will be uploading to our website very, very soon, www.nanogenesolutions.com. So, okay, I will see you in next week webinar. Okay, the next week webinar, okay, we call, uh, uh, we actually call organized with Monash University. That's a very good webinar. So you should definitely join us if you have the free time. So we will talk about the cloning expressions and also the protein productions and also purifications. So thank you very much and have a nice day today. Hope everyone stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye. Sure, you are welcome.